everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. I know I've been doing all these Chanel unboxings. It's, it's a lot at the moment, but it was my birthday and presents come in as well. So my mom got me this very special little object, which I'm going to unbox uh, now. Let's see what it is. And there's a reason why the 255 Mini is there as well. This is a very quick one. <laughs> Glasses. Now, I have actually worn them, so the unboxing is not an authentic unboxing in terms of, oh, never seen them before. Actually, if you are clever, you've seen them in my Insta stories because I did wear them quite a lot for work. But of course, for my mom, I'm unboxing them also. So mom, here you go. Thank you so much for this. This is a wonderful present. I am in love with these glasses. They are not tinted. This They are to actually see, <laughs> but they do have UV protection. So it's really, really comfortable to wear these indoors and on a cloudy day. Now, this brings me to classic 80s, 90s, late 80s, early 90s Chanel, the GOAD. The GOAD is really gold. We have the protruding logo. Now, if you remember, I shall post the link at the end of this video, but also in the description box down below, my uh, fall winter um, 1819 sunglasses from the pret a runway. The sleek ones, both in black acetate as well as the more tortoise shell style acetate, also had this particular Chanel logo protruding out of the um, temples. So I guess they were a success because Chanel now came back with this particular model available in many different. Um, colorways, meaning you could get the lens, well, you could get the temples and the frame in black acetate, as are mine, with the gold Chanel logo on both temples. But you could also get a gray kind of grayish, tortoise-ish version, then there's the tortoise version, then there's a, there's a bunch of colors, right? And also the lenses can come colored, the only version that is not colored with the transparent lenses is this one with the black and the gold, right? But you see, this is the thing. I love them so much and I will show you how they look on me as well. But I also would like to get these as sunglasses. But the thing is, Chanel doesn't make them. And that's a funny thing. So if you want the sunglasses, you can't get the black with gold. You could get the silver Chanel writing or you could get the black Chanel kind of gunmetal on black temples with black lenses, but only the transparent lenses come with the combination that I love, which would be black acetate and golden logo. Now, that's where the 255 Mini comes in play, because this, what they call champagne gold hardware, is the yellow gold hardware. Well, I mean, it was even more yellow in the 80s, but this is as yellow as it gets nowadays, you guys, so bear with me. This is, to me, the old-school Chanel gold, right? And that's why I love the combination of the two together. They are the exact same tone of gold. So that's why this bag is in this video as well, so you could see how well they go together. You know, we have the black leather, the black temples, and then we have the gold hardware on the bag, as well as the gold Chanel inscription on the glasses. These are just amazing and they're huge they're really really gorgeous so I would definitely recommend them but you do have to have a particular shape of head I mean they're so big that they can look really a bit funny um, not that they don't look funny on me I mean they also look funny but I kinda like to go for the geeky look so for me it's okay I can handle the geeky look some people just, I guess they don't they just wanna look cool they're fun and if you don't take yourself too seriously you can pull these off if you're the type of person who's all about, you know, showing off and wanting to, wanting the entire world to kind of bow at your feet because you're wearing Chanel glasses, that's the wrong thing for you. It ain't gonna work. It's, it's people are just gonna laugh at you because it's really easy to look ridiculous in these. You gotta be able to have a lot of self humor and sense of self humor to be able to pull them off, but in a good way, in a healthy way, right? So anyway, 
Quick note only, uh, not only, quick note also on this bag. A lot of you have been telling me, Jacob, yeah, I've seen your video, great, I wanted to check out this bag, went to the Chanel boutique and the bag seems to be of lesser quality than the double flap 255 in small, medium or large. Um, the stitches seem to be looser. No, not on mine, they don't. Uh, there are a bit less stitches per square because the bag is smaller. It's it's a smaller bag, all in all, and um, but I think I will be making an extra video just reviewing it in, in, into detail because a lot of you have been having a lot of questions on this bag. It's a simple bag, let's just say that in this video now. It's a very simple structure, it's still impeccably well made, um, but it is a bag that, you know, has a bit of less work went into making this one than making a double flap, but that's because this bag doesn't have a double flap. It's a single flap bag. You know what I mean? So, well, let me open it for you guys so you can see what I mean. So, like, when we open it, there's just that one flap. But there's no zipper here. This pocket, you know, there's no pocket here. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm thrilled with it, and yes, I would repurchase it immediately. Um, of course, I've taken my protective foliage here so it does scratch you see when you kind of open and close it it will get its little marks there normal it's part of the life of these bags you guys love the scratches the scratches come from you and if they come from you on your bag that means that your character is imprinting onto that bag so accept it embrace it there's nothing to it. That's what it is. It's part of the life of this bag. Just as our scars, like I got a little cut there. Um, where else did I get? A mosquito. But here there's a little, you see, I have a little scar there as well. A little peeling a little thing. Something bit me. Now it's peeling. It's, oh, that's life, you guys. Anyway, we'll be doing a review on this one. In case you're interested in this particular model, let me read to you the the model number, so it's Chanel 5410. Then we have the color code and shape, which is C.622 slash 1W. And then the size is 54, and then there's a little square, and then 21, 140ON. Now I touch them with my fingers. Now, of course, they are completely covered with my fingerprint, but okay. Let's try to focus here focus for me well it's hard to see and anyway so there you go that's the model number five four one zero huh and the colorway of the uh, frame temple and the transparent glass would be c dot six two two one w fifty four square twenty one now They're so particular. I have to say, though, they're not as heavy as they look. This acetate doesn't feel as heavy as Chanel acetate from the 90s and the late 80s, which is good if you intend to wear them long for long period of like for prolonged periods of time, which is exactly what I do. I do wear them quite a bit um, the whole day, to be precise, every day. <laughs> They don't hurt. However, I'm a person that tends to sweat quite a bit. So, and I have really oily skin, which causes acetate in this section here. Obviously, because this is acetate, there's no rubber there or nothing. They slide off the nose after a certain period of time because obviously they're very lucid. So I have to kind of clean the middle there and kind of wipe my nose like every two or three hours just on top where it's more oily and shiny. And then they then they say, you, you, you're going to have to do that like every two hours. Um, it doesn't matter in my case if it's winter or summer, spring or fall. I always have an oily face. Of course, in summer, you also sweat more. So I guess you might have to do that action uh, more times than in winter, let's say, but I have to say that I did make a little test. I did put, I did cut a little bit of a band-aid, you know, one of those like bigger patches of band-aids. I would just cut a little tiny angle or triangle. I would place one there and one there. 
just the size to make them fit in there. And it did hold for at least six hours, but because my skin is so oily, uh, the Band-Aid kind of absorbed the the grease of my skin. And after a certain point, basically there was so much, oh my God, this is so like TMI. You don't have to listen to this if you don't want to. But anyway, for those of you who are interested, I'm just going to say it as it is. We're keeping it always real in the fashion bunker. So the actual Band-Aid, which really kept the glasses stuck to the nose in a good way. Of course, the Band-Aid sticky side was stuck to the acetate, duh. But the other side of the Band-Aid, the skin tone thing that has kind of a texture to it was preventing the glasses from sliding off my nose. However, after, let's say, five or six hours, the Band-Aid absorbs so much of the skin oils, let's call it in an elegant way, essential oils, instead of just saying the grease of the skin. Uh, so basically, it absorbs so much of it that my own grease of the skin kind of... Um, I guess it neutralized the glue effect, the sticky effect of the Band-Aid. <laughs> on the glasses so basically after six hours one of my colleagues at work was like Jacob what do you got what <laughs> oh my god I can't believe I'm saying that. anyway one of my colleagues was like is that a snot on the side of your nose and I was like oh no <laughs> it's not a snot it's, it's the band-aid that fell off the glasses so I literally had a band-aid stuck like halfway between my nose and my cheek so just be warned if you're going to if you're going to try to produce a little something something you know um, DIY uh, not to make the glasses slide off your nose you might just end up with a bit of band aid stuck to your cheekbone at a certain point and, and you know and might look really awkward so anyway eh, okay back to uh, reality uh, ooh. Gosh, now I laughed so much and so hard. And you know, I, when I film the videos, I turn off the air conditioning. So it's, it's really a sweaty situation. After laughing, I'm compl I'm soaking wet. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the unboxing and review of uh, this wonderful model. The Chanel 5410. They're going to go into history. Chanel history. All right. Thumb up this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. Super Take All spelled together. See you very soon, and never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.